फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट मिस्टर डेप्टी चेयरमैन सर आई राइज टू सपोर्ट द बिल एज इट परपोजिस टू अमेंड द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इन ए मैनर सो दैट द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट एंड द अर्जेंट नीड ऑफ आवर पीपल मे बी इंक्लूडिड इन आवर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एज फंडामेंटल राइट राइट टू वर्क इज द इसेंशियल कंडीशन ऑफ आवर एग्जिस्टेंस एज ए ह्यूमन बींग यू नो सर थ्रू वर्क मैन डिस्टिंग यूस इज हिमसेल्फ फ्रॉम बीस्ट एंड डेवलप्स हिज कैपेबिलिटी टू बी द मास्टर ऑफ हिज फेट एंड कंट्रोल्स द नेचर एंड बिल्ड अप द सिविलाइजेशन दिस पावर टू वर्क हेल्प्स हिम टू कंट्रोल द नेचर एंड टू यूज इट इन हिज इंटरेस्ट ही प्रोड्यूसिज his bread and thus continues his existence without work how can a man earn his livelihood so it is absolutely related to the question of his existence but today this existence of man is challenged in our country the unending queue of unemployed people is increasing day by day there is no security of his existence as he has no means of production at his disposal in a developing country like ours the unemployment problem is the most burning problem we have no opportunity to work and no right to work the number of unemployed people registered with the employment exchanges in our country is more than 2 crores but this is not the real picture in the rural areas the uneducated masses of unemployed youth do not register their names with the employment exchange offices the agricultural laborers poor peasants from the bulk of the rural are unemployed besides they do not get jobs for all the time throughout the year more people are entering into cultivation on the same size of land thus increasing the number of hidden unemployed people the rural poor such as agricultural laborer bonded laborer poor peasants etc are the major part of rural unemployed with them the other sections of the small and middle peasantry and rural artisans are gradually losing their land and their small means of production share croppers are being evicted from the land and share croppers day by day are getting more and more impoverished the middle class people are also the most unfortunate victims of unemployment workers are thrown out of their jobs due to lockout closure and recession in the economy taking all of them together the number of unemployed in our country works out to be more than 6 crores but how can they live without a job after 65 years of our independence the ruling class is far behind in getting these people out of this problem we are making plans one after another but what is the result after the first 5 year plan the number of the registered unemployed people stood at 20 lakhs after the second 5 year plan it rose to 35 lakhs after the third 5 year plan it crossed the line of 53 lakhs after the fourth plan it was more than 80 lakhs and now 
it is 2 crores. This is the reality in spite of the ruling parties toll talks of socialistic pattern of society, democratic socialism and ultimately socialism and new economic program. The ruling party have been crying from the house tops about the so called socialism in our country. The number of unemployed in the country has been increasing because their socialism is a fake socialism and it is to deceive the people only. They talk of socialism only because they know people love and like it. People believe that without socialism unemployment problem cannot be solved. What is socialism? It is only the scientific socialism which is the real socialism and which abolishes exploitation of man by man which abolishes private property system in the economy which takes the means of production in the hands of the state and which guarantees the right to work. But in our socialism the rich becomes richer and poor becomes poorer. This is really capitalism under the guise of socialism. This is fake socialism and this is only to deceive the people. Can we claim of building socialism without making the right to work as a fundamental right? We cannot. In all the socialist countries, this right of work is guaranteed by the constitution as a fundamental right. I would like to quote the relevant articles from the constitution of a few socialist countries. Article 40 of the erstwhile USSR constitution says, that the citizens of the USSR have the right to work that is to guaranteed employment and pay in accordance with the quantity and quality of their work and not below the state established minimum including the right to choose their trade or profession. Article 49 of the Constitution of China says citizens have the right to work. To ensure that citizens enjoy this right, the state provides employment in accordance with the principle of overall consideration and on the basis of increased production, the state gradually increases payment for labor improves working conditions and strengthens labor protection. Stop.